global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Global Happiness to the YouTube channel. Some days back, precisely uh, 3rd of March, B. Toby approached the court via his legal team uh, to tell INEC or rather to give INEC the order to allow them to have access to the BVAS or the source document to which they used to declare um, President uh, elect Tunubu Bolamed Tunubu even though it was done at midnight hour, I'm talking about between 2 to 4 a.m. in the morning while men slept. Fast forward, the court, the court gave the verdict. Fast forward, and for whatever reasons, we were unable to obey that court verdict. Fast forward some days back, call it some, some 72, 72 hours ago, another court case was held of which again Peter Obish legal team made another plea on that matter of which even the court, the judge is called contempt because as in they have given you that mandate before, they've given you that order. Why are you bringing it up again? Of which again, there was an order made to that effect eventually. Now, what is trending right now is Occupy INEC by the youth. The question is why? There have been a series and series of information showing that for whatever reason, INEC have been unable to honor that court order. Many Nigerian youth are beginning to talk. Many Nigerian youth are beginning to call forth to Occupy INEC now. Don't forget, there have also been an order given to INEC where they are now permitted to reconfigure BVAS. Although they did say uh, that um, eventually uh, that um, they would um, back up the data that, that uh, the likes of LP have nothing to worry about, they would back up the data, of which Yenusa, one of the spokespersons of the Labour Party, has actually argued that if you're going to back up anything, one would have expected that we should all, all party, the party, parties agents involved should bring in their expert, IT expert, to watch and see, be there when you're backing up whatever data. So I will know exactly what you're backing up and what you are not willing to back up. As if that was allowed to slide. As we speak, people are talking on social media, bit by bit, the youth are occupying INEC office. And people are wondering what's going on. Now, they're, you're going to get to see series and series of what people are saying concerning this matter. And if you notice something very quickly before we quickly run into this particular news, notice that Yusuf Dati had been exceptionally very quiet. Because he, from the inception, is one man who has always been very true to his words. He has never meant words. He said he doesn't really believe in the system because he has seen where... You know, court orders have been disobeyed, and we are even the mandate of the of the people have been sub subchanged, and literally nothing happened. He gave a case study of Lawan of where the the law permits him not to contest the fact he'll be disqualified if he picks two two nomination form of which he picked presidential form, and only for him now to be in the ballot for Senate, and to be matters in the legislature amended and brought in that is making and just be excited of which he's he was supposed to be the fake victim but whatever reasons it, it 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 didn't hit now as we speak nigerians are getting angry a group persons should go to court labor party has actually gone to have taken you to court allow them have access to beavers you have refused if you guys don't do the need for and allow the law to do justice then you guys give them the nigerians are talking i'm just reading you the comments that is going on right now online real time as at the time of filing this report what nigerians are discussing online concerning occupy INEC now the fact that INEC have refused labor party access despite court order twice and in a few days time probably a few hours time because they have just three days they can reconfigure that and if they reconfigure does it mean the source document is gone although they did promise that they're going to back up but if they cannot obey court order to allow labor party to have full access by themselves we don't want i'm sure labor party does not want that uh, the one that they've backed up end to end the one the one they can pick now photocopy scan keep from source not when you are backed up. What, what are you, so that you guess you did not back up the right thing. We still have one on source. Now that's why you see Nigerians youth are, sh are shouting that uh, if they don't want um, that they will have no other option but to protest massively till we get our mandate back. Nigerians are talking 
or rather really talking online. But there's something a young man said that is um, bringing a lot of reactions, actually. Uh, the young man said we should be a bit more careful. That there could be something in the pipeline. But before we hear what he said, it makes quite a lot of sense. Let's still find out what Nigerians says. Somebody here says, I next should be mindful of what they do. Nigerian youth will overrun them if they stand on our way. They're biting money they can't chew. Occupy eye neck now. Wow. And that person here is saying, in fact, some some lawyers are also talking about it. This person here said, I neck have at I neck have refused to give us access to election material. This one is one of the obedience. He said, at I neck have refused to give us access to election materials as granted by the appeal court. Please, if you are not ready to obey the court order, don't be offended if the teaming you take laws into their hand. This is so undemocratic. Mm. I just hope the prophecies that they made, uh, some prominent men of God made some years, uh, some months back, and even some days back, will not come to pass. And that person here says, uh, former Chief Justice of Nigeria, CGN Justice Water Onogan, said the only way to sustain public confidence in the judiciary was for judges to be proactive by not allowing technicalities to stand in the way of sub substantive justices. Mm, former, and uh, former, um, Former ICGNs are now talking. Nigerians are really getting angry. This person here says, Whenever I remember Peter, but I know better days are coming. Our mandate must be recovered. Nigerians are getting. Re Let's quickly read uh, what um, a lawyer here wrote that is quite um, interesting. He said, I quote him, He said, Look, Anna cannot be superior over judiciary they must obey court order and allow labor party access to bvas or we will occupy INEC now well this is uh i hope that uh, this does not go beyond what we expect nigerians are gradually gathering uh in some places in INEC. let me let you watch the video see the moment where the young man advised nigerians on not going to protest okay so this could, could, could be a move towards that but rather they should do this instead i just hope it works watch the video together with me let's meet in our conversation what's up have a nice time god bless you what the obedient movement has been nothing short of phenomenal right every single thing that people had said was supposed to be some sort of a disadvantage to us was somehow found a way to make it into an advantage take for example peter obi is not known in the north we you know made that an advantage and we by July evangelized peter obi to northerners they said oh youths don't have pvcs and we went out and got our pvcs but every single thing they've said against us we found a way to make into a stepping stone and then on election day, some people slept at their polling units just to be sure they voted in on time. And then they stayed back after voting to ensure the votes were counted and uploaded. But now, I think you guys should need to notice something. There has been too many intentional actions by the government or the establishment to aggravate us. I've seen it. I've, I've sensed it for, for, for the longest time. I think the establishment were so brazen in rigging the election because they thought that by doing that so openly we will be spurred into protest and then the thing about the protest is it doesn't matter if it is peaceful they just want to protest so they can in infiltrate the pro protest with their thugs and their hoodlums and then cause chaos and mayhem and then that will give them and opportunity to use the instrument of coercion, the police, the military, to subdue and you know silence us once and for all. So I kind of feel like what INEC is doing with regards to you know giving Peter B access to the beavers is an intentional move on their part to get us pissed, and that should make us occupy INEC. I think there are subtler, more effective ways of getting these guys to cooperate as a, as a, supposed to go hit it hit in the streets because i mean i might be wrong this is just my perception but knowing who we are dealing with i honestly cannot put anything past them so guys let's think about this twice before we actually go out and occupy INEC. i mean this is just my thoughts yeah